the Los Angeles class is a class of nuclear-powered fast-attack submarines in service with the United States Navy. They represent two generations and close to half a century of the U.S. Navy's attack submarine fleet. As of late 2013, 41 of the class are still in commission and 21 retired from service. Of the 21 retired boats, 14 of them were laid up halfway through their projected lifespans due to their midlife reactor refuelings being cancelled. A further four boats were proposed by the Navy, but later cancelled. The class has more operating nuclear submarines than any other in the world, and, except for USS Hyman G. Rickover, all submarines of this class are named after American cities and a few towns. This system of naming broke a long-standing tradition in the U.S. Navy of naming attack submarines for creatures of the ocean. In 1982 after building 31 ships, the class underwent a minor redesign, the following eight that made up the second flight of subs had 12 new vertical launch tubes that could fire Tomahawk missiles. The last 23 saw a significant upgrade with the 688i improvement program. These boats are quieter, with more advanced electronics, sensors, and noise reduction technology. Externally they can be recognized quickly as their retractable diving planes were placed at their bows rather than on their sails. Characteristics Capabilities, according to the U.S. Department of Defense, the top speed of the submarines of the Los Angeles class is over 25 knots, although the actual maximum is classified. Some published estimates have placed their top speed at 30 to 33 knots. In his book Submarine, a guided tour inside a nuclear warship, Tom Clancy estimated the top speed of Los Angeles class submarines at about 37 knots. The U.S. Navy gives the maximum operating depth of the Los Angeles class as 650 ft, while Patrick Tyler, in his book Running Critical, suggests a maximum operating depth of 950 ft. Although Tyler cites the 688 class design committee for this figure, the government has not commented on it. The maximum diving depth is 1,475 ft according to Jane's Fighting Ships, 2004 Euro 2005 edition, edited by Commodore Stephen Saunders of the Royal Navy. Weapons Los Angeles-class submarines carry about 25 torpedo tube-launched weapons, as well as Mark 67 and Mark 60 capture mines and were designed to launch Tomahawk cruise missiles, and harpoon missiles horizontally. The last 31 boats of this class also have 12 dedicated vertical launching system tubes for launching tomahawks. Control systems Over close to 40 years the control suite of the class has changed dramatically. The class was originally equipped with the MK-113 Mod 10 fire control system, also known as the Pargo display program. The MK-113 runs on a UYK-7 computer. The MK-117 FCS, the first all-digital fire control system replaced the MK-113. The MK-117 transferred the duties of the analog MK-75 attack director to the UYK-7, and the digital MK-81 weapon control consoles removing the two analog conversions, and allowing all digital control of the digital MK-48 control. The first 688 sub to be built with the MK-117 was SSN-700, the USS Dallas. The Mark I Combat Control System All Digital Attack Center replaced the MK-117 FCS which it was based on. The MK-1 CCS was built by Lockheed Martin and gave the class the ability to fire Tomahawk missiles. The CSS internal tracker model provides processing for both towed array and spherical array trackers. Trackers are signal followers which generate bearing, arrival angle and frequency reports based on information received by an acoustic sensor. It incorporated the gyrostatic navigator into the system in replacement of the DMINS of the earlier 688 class. The MK-1 CCS was replaced by the MK-2. The MK-2 was built by Raytheon. MK-2 provides Tomahawk Block 3 vertical launch capability as well as fleet requested improvements to MK-48 ADCAP torpedo and towed array target motion analysis operability. The MK-2 CCS paired with the ANBQ Q5E system is referred to as the QE2 system. 
The CCSMK2 Block 1 upper byte system architecture extends the CCSMK2 tactical system with a network of tactical advanced computers. These TAC3s are configured to support the SFMPL, NTCSA, Link-11 and ATWCS subsystems. Sensors, Sonar, ANBQQ5, ANBQQ5 Sensor Suite, which consists of the ANBQS-13 spherical sonar array and ANUYK-44 computer. The ANBQQ-5 was developed from the ANBQQ-2 sonar system. The BQS-11, 12, and 13 spherical arrays have 1,241 transducers. Also equipped are a 104 hydrophone hull array, and two tailed arrays the TB-12 and TB-23 or TB-29 of which there are multiple variants. There are five versions of the ANBQQ-5 system, sequentially identified by letters AE. The 688i subclass was initially equipped with the ANBSY-1 subax submarine advanced combat system that used an ANBQQ-5E sensor system with updated computers and interface equipment. Development of the ANBSY-1 and its sister the ANBSY-2 for the Sea Wolf class was widely reported as one of the most problematic programs for the Navy, its cost, and schedule suffering many setbacks. A series of conformal passive hydrophones are hard-mounted to each side of the hull, using the ANBQR24 internal processor. The system uses FLIT which homes in on precise narrow-band frequencies of sound and using the Doppler principle, can accurately provide firing solutions against very quiet submarines. The ANBQQ-5 a Euro unregistered trademark S hull array doubled the performance of its predecessors, ANBQQ-10. The ANBQQ-5 system was replaced by the ANBQQ-10 system. Acoustic Rapid Commercial Off-the-Shelf Insertion, designated ANBQQ-10, is a four-phase program for transforming existing submarine sonar systems from legacy systems to a more capable and flexible COTS open system architecture and also provide the submarine force with a common sonar system. A single ARCI multipurpose processor has as much computing power as the entire Los Angeles submarine fleet combined and will allow the development and use of complex algorithms previously beyond the reach of legacy processors. The use of COTS OSA technologies and systems will enable rapid periodic updates to both software and hardware. COTS-based processors will allow computer power growth at a rate commensurate with the commercial industry. Engineering and auxiliary systems, two watertight compartments are used in the Los Angeles-class submarines. The forward compartment contains crew living spaces, weapons handling spaces, and control space is not critical to recovering propulsion. The aft compartment contains the bulk of the submarine's engineering systems, power generation turbines, and water-making equipment. Some submarines in the class are capable of delivering seals through either the dry deck shelter system or the advanced seal delivery system. A variety of atmospheric control devices are used to allow the vessel to remain submerged for long periods of time without ventilating, including an electrolytic oxygen generator, which produces oxygen for the crew and hydrogen as a byproduct. The hydrogen is pumped overboard but there is always a risk of fire or explosion from this process. While on the surface or at snorkel depth, the submarine may use the submarine's auxiliary or emergency diesel generator for power or ventilation. The diesel engine in a 688 class can be quickly started by compressed air during emergencies or to evacuate noxious gases from the boat, although ventilation requires raising a snorkel mast. During non-emergency situations, design constraints call for operators to allow the engine to reach normal operating temperatures before it is capable of producing full power, a process that may take from 20 to 30 minutes. However, the diesel generator can be immediately loaded to 100% power output, despite design criteria cautions, at the discretion of the submarine commander on the recommendation of the submarine's engineer, if necessity dictates such actions to a, restore electrical power to the submarine, b, prevent a reactor incident from occurring or escalating, or c, to protect the lives of the crew or others as determined necessary by the commanding officer. Normally. 
Steam power is generated by the submarine's nuclear reactor delivering pressurized hot water to the steam generator, which generates steam to drive the steam-driven turbines and generators. While the emergency diesel generator is starting up, power can be provided from the submarine's battery through the ship's service motor generators. Likewise, propulsion is normally delivered through the submarine's steam-driven main turbines that drive the submarine's propeller through a reduction gear system. The submarine has no main drive shaft, unlike conventional diesel-electric submarines. Propulsion, the ship is equipped with a light water reactor, model GEPWRS-6G, generating 35,000 shp, developed and supplied by General Electric. The auxiliary prop motor by Magnate supplies 242 kilowatts. The life of the fuel cells is approximately 10 years. Part of the improved 688 program included the improved performance machinery program Phase I. The S6G reactor plant was originally designed to use the D1G2 core, similar to the D2G reactor used on the Bainbridge class guided missile cruiser, which is rated at 148 MW. All Los Angeles class submarines from USS Providence on were built with a D2W core rated at 165 MW as opposed to the older 150 MW cores found on older boats. The D1G2 cores are being replaced with D2W cores when the boats are refueled. In popular culture, Los Angeles-class submarines have been featured prominently in numerous Tom Clancy novels and film adaptations, most notably the Usa Dalaza, SSN 700, in The Hunt for Red October. Other mentions include Usa Chicago, SSN 721, in Red Storm Rising and Usa Cheyenne, SSN 773, in SSN. The 2000 Australian television film on the beach features a fictional 688i Los Angeles class submarine, the USS Charleston. In the 2009 film Terminator Salvation, Resistance headquarters is located aboard a Los Angeles class submarine, called the Usa Wilmington according to the novelization and several behind the scenes books. The Los Angeles class submarine is the focus of many submarine related video games, such as the simulator's 1989 688 attack sub, Electronic Arts 1997 688i, Hunter Killer, and the 2005 Dangerous Waters. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 features the USA Chicago SSN 721 as the launching platform for TFA 141's operations. Another Los Angeles class submarine, the USS Dallas, can also be seen in the level The Only Easy Day. Was yesterday. The USA Alexandria, SSN 757, was used in filming Stargate, Continuum. A fictional Los Angeles class submarine named the USS Orlando appeared in the 1996 comedy film Down Periscope. See also List of Los Angeles class submarines List of active Los Angeles class submarines by Homerport, List of inactive Los Angeles class submarines by disposition, Notes. References This article includes information collected from the Naval Vessel Register, which, as a U.S. government publication, is in the public domain. Clancy, T. The Hunt for Red October. Annapolis, Maryland, Naval Institute Press. ISBN A 0 87021 285-0 D. Mercurio, M. Benson, M. The Complete Idiot's Guide to Submarines. New York, Alpha Books. ISBN A 978-0-02-864471-4. Hutchinson, R. Jane's Submarines. War Beneath the Waves from 1776 to the Present Say. London, HarperCollins. ISBN A 978-0-00-710558-8A. Palmer, N. Moore, K.J. Cold War Submarines, The Design and Construction of U.S. and Soviet Submarines. Washington, D.C. Brasses. ISBN A 1 57488 594 4. Tyler, P. Running Critical. New York, Harper and Row. ISBN A 978 0 06 091441 7. A. Waddle, S. The Right Thing. 
Nashville, Tennessee, Integrity Publishers. ISBN A 1 59145 036 5 Saunders, S. Jane's Fighting Ships, 2004 2005. Coolston, Surrey, UK, Jane's Information Group Limited. ISBN A 0 7106 2623 1. External links Role of the Modern Submarine at Submarine History.